All right, what's going on guys? Check this out. It's a really cool old concrete fountain. Water fountain, of course. Let me just show it to you real quick. It's got a little shadow in there, huh? But uh, you can see a pretty big pillar right there. Great big bowl here. Another nice little designed pillar. The second tier. And we got some little kids on here. Umbrella. And originally the water came right out of here. Cascade off the umbrella. Fill up this. Drip down. There's four holes here. Come right in here and just be peaceful. But uh, yeah, I'm not going to hook it up to any water. Don't want to pay that bill, you know. It's a uh, or dig that trench. <laughs> Doing enough digging right about now, and it's gonna get hot soon. But uh, yeah, we like it just to look at it. We just got it in a couple days ago. Found it on Craigslist. Um, real old area of Arizona over in the Del Webb communities. Things about almost 40 years old. And uh, oh man, let me tell you, you want to work out. Move one of these things, man. Um, I actually was able to find it, it online. You know what they're going for these days. This thing goes for a pretty penny. We picked it up for about $25. And uh, it didn't look like this. So it was, uh, you know, all the, all white, standard concrete, couple of big cracks in it. It's uh, all fixed up now, though. You can see I got a couple of uh, little touch-up paint to do. But what I did is, uh, and darn it, I can't remember the name right now, but I just got, you know, some uh, sealer, crack filler, and uh, I can't even spot where it was, but it had a, had a pretty good line going down and then around like that. So I filled that up, we uh, scrubbed it up with a couple of wire brushes. There's a product called UGL. Uh, it's kind of like a Portland cement mix in a little can, like a paint can. And um, just buy, you don't want to get a brush, you want to get a mitt. It's like a mop mitt type of thing, like a roller, but a glove. And uh, you just take it and just dump it out and just rub a coat on there, let it dry about three hours, four hours. Throw another coat on, two coats is all you need. And you could get it tinted to a color. Um, I was kind of shocked that, you know, 2013, you like got like seven colors that you could tint your concrete. You would think by now, you can do whatever color you want. Uh, not true. So, went with a blue. And you know what? It wasn't blue at all. You would uh, easily mistake it for white. So we went and got this pretty cool green. Big fan of green. And pretty much, you know, as big as this thing is, it really does become almost invisible when uh, it's all with the greenery and stuff. So, and we're just getting in to the bloom season. Everything's going to be leafing out and turning nice and green, so it should be uh, real nice. If it was white, that's the whole only thing you would see in the whole yard. So, uh, yeah, sealed the... Uh, Sealed the cracks in the concrete. Did another coat of concrete with the UGL, two coats, and then two coats of this green paint. Next step was we set it all up. Had to get it out from the garage. Did I mention I saw it online and the thing they quoted as weighing 500 pounds? <laughs> so uh, painted it all up, did that in the garage, got it out here, set it up, leveled it out, you know, made it uh, look how we want it. <laughs> I had to take it all back down because then you got to get this and that's your uh, That's your concrete. That's your glue right there. So this thing ain't ever coming apart for a long time and uh, Just went ahead and just did every place where they matched up And even under here That way the kids you know you lean on it, it doesn't fall over and we got it under there too So I just got a few more little touch-up areas to paint and probably end up making it 
because it does get a little western sun make it a cool little uh, cactus garden I mean it's got four holes here but uh, they're not in a position where we would like to water any plants and then down here there's nothing so cactus is cacti cactus <laughs> that'd be perfect for it so we'll see right now we're just enjoying the fact that we already moved it that thing is crazy but yeah if you're into it if you got a truck if you got you know at least one, at least one friend there's something you could do um, and check out the price man I'll tell you what this thing is going online for about almost twenty two hundred dollars I'm not kidding you and uh, didn't, didn't even put a put my zip in there to figure out what the shipping would be but I guarantee you you're gonna have to set it up yourself probably so factor in another what 250 to have some people do that for you I wouldn't even know haven't really had anybody do anything for me in a long time so do it all myself but yeah there might be a little business in that for somebody who has the time 25 30 bucks for a fountain like this spend about the same amount on all the fixing and coating and painting and give somebody a steal at a thousand bucks <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna happen though I'm not sure how hot the fountain market is right now in this economy but anyways it sure looks good and just adds to the yard with all the other stuff we've come across and made and put together and blood sweat and no tears because there ain't no crying in baseball <laughs>